Hello and welcome to Jimmy's Farm. Today I'm going to be showing you one of my favourite recipes for the spring. It's the mouth-wateringly delicious yoghurt and mint marinated leg of lamb. So here I've got a boned leg of lamb which Daryl our butcher has done for us and we just want to flatten it out. So let's slide the knife through there. We want as large a surface area as we possibly can because that's going to help absorb all the flavours. So there we go, so we've got our flat leg of lamb and we're just going to score the meat. We don't want to go all the way through but we just want to form some little crevices where all those flavours are going to be able to go. So score you know, a couple of centimetres into the meat and do the same on the other side. There we go. So for our marinade for the lamb, we've got some natural yoghurt, some fresh mint from the garden, I've got some cumin and some fennel seeds, as well as some Raz El Hanout, which is a fantastic spice that works really well with lamb. I've got a small pan here, and I'm going to add in all our spices. There's the fennel seed, there's the cumin seed, and here's the Raz El Hanout. We're just going to pop this on a low heat to start toasting all those spices. Whenever you're toasting spices, you don't want them to be too hot. You always want to be able to move them around in the pan with your hand. Any hotter and you can start to burn the spices. So we've given our spices a couple of minutes just to start toasting off. And that's going to bring out all those flavours. And we're going to add these into a pestle and mortar, which I've got here. You can use a spice grinder or a blender, but a pestle and mortar always gets the best flavours out. We're now going to start grinding up all these spices. It's going to bring them all to life, bring out all those flavours. So they're all starting to form a really nice powder. And then we're there. I've got a large metal bowl in which we're going to add our spices and they smell absolutely fantastic. Into here, 500 millilitres of natural yoghurt. We just slide that straight in. I've also got some fresh mint that I picked from the garden, which we're going to chop up. Don't worry about the same board, it's all going to go in the marinade. So we're going to chop it up nice and fine. There we go, in she goes. And a good pinch of salt, and a good pinch of pepper, or a grind of pepper. Finally, some lemon, just want some juice. So we'll give our marinade a good mix around before we carefully pour it on top of our lamb. So we'll pop back half on for now, and we're going to start massaging the yoghurt into the lamb. You can now see why we made those scores. So all that flavour can start to get inside the meat. Really work that in. Any little pockets you can slide some of the marinade in. We'll then flip over our leg of lamb and then we'll pour over the remainder of our marinade. And then we'll do the same on this side. So work it into all those little slits that you've made. So our lamb's just started to marinate up. We'll now pop it in a tray. We want to leave this in the fridge for about a day minimum. If you can do two or three days, it's going to really take on those flavours. The yoghurt's going to help tenderise the meat and it's going to be really flaky and fantastic when that comes out of the oven. So we're going to wrap this in cling film and pop it in the fridge for a minimum of a day. So it's been 24 hours since we marinated our lamb and as you can see the colour started to change on the lamb where that yoghurt started to really get in the meat with all those delicious flavours. We're now going to very simply wrap it in tin foil and we're going to slide this into a preheated oven at 160 degrees for four hours. So we've just pulled our lamb out of the oven and as you can see I said four hours of cooking it's just starting to flake down. We'll pop that onto our board and then with a knife, you can see it just crumbling as you cut through it. You can see that really tender, so juicy. You see all that steam coming out of it. It looks absolutely fantastic. So to serve our lamb, I've got a warm ciabatta roll and I'm going to pile up our delicious lamb inside it. As you can see, it's just literally falling apart as you put it in. You can serve this with another dollop of yoghurt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of my favourite chilli sauce. Good. You can use whatever chilli sauce you like, whatever sauce you like. A good drizzle over the top. Pop on your lid. And there you have it. There's my yoghurt and mint marinated leg of lamb. 